All right, back at it with Call to Adventure Epic Origins Campaign Mode. We are at the second to last chapter, chapter six. Um, I have no idea what this thing is going to be. It's just like a D20. Is it the Dungeon Master? Chapter six, Torment. For generations, heroes have managed to save the world. They never realized that each apocalypse was guided by a single hand. Every monster, every adversary, every threat was put in place by an infernal being of reality warping power, the Tormentor. Now this fiend begins one final scheme, and you are at the center of it. Approaching you in the tavern, he introduces himself as the master of... It is the dungeon master! That's stupid. He proposes a game and you accept. From that moment, you belong to him. You must face torture and tragedy every step of the way, for only the most hoarding hero can break the Tormentor's chains and end the cycle. Objective, defeat the Tormentor. Shuffle, feeling to the Heritage deck, which is this. Oh, that's just a Tiefling. Is Tiefling not public domain? And Breaker of Chains into Destiny. That looks pretty badass. And the Adversary deck will play Dragon's Majesty of Tormentor's Grass, which is this thing. Begin a new game. If you fail, each hero begins the next game with an additional experience for each time you have failed. Outcome. If you fail to defeat the Tormentor, face it again next session. Once you succeed, open the final envelope, Age of Adventure. Well, if we're facing the Dungeon Master, what could possibly, possibly be the last one? Okay, so first, he's the Master of the Dungeon. He needs Dex and Comp. Uh, he gets plus one health when the player plays a hero core. No. He should get minus one health because the DM does not want to play with murder hobos. I'm a DM. I play with murder hobos all the time. It's fucking annoying. And a minus... He gets minus one when a hero adds a plus one path to destroy. That's neat. Gain plus two to this attempt if you have more black paths from your story than neutral. No, again, no. No, 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 no. That is not how that works. Anyway, let's see what we are. We are a construct. Okay, fine. And we get two, two, two. I am still not at a chair. No symbols that matter. You begin the game with an extra that. That's very good, though. When you journey, you may replace a chord on the table with an, any discord or trait or challenge from the same map. Well, that's just terrible, because if we discard something, it's from us, and not from a different player. So we're just going to be a cultist to Cthulhu. The hell? Thing locked to the damn board. And now it's stuck on my hand. Whatever. So, plus one to strength, and nope. I guess we're going to be a druid, because that can potentially help us in the long run. And who are we? A favorite soul or at the end of the game lose one? Well, we definitely don't want that because it negates to the master of the dungeon. We will be the chosen one because that's who the DM is always facing, the chosen one. So we start with a hero cord and one anti-hero because we're a cultist. Get intense effort. That's pretty good. And meta magic, also very good. So, let's see what we get. We get Haggle with the Merchant. That's very good. It gives us our thing, a uh, token for the dungeon and an anti-hero card, which is what we want. Bullborn, when you gain this, get, is that the symbol we want? No, we want the scroll. That's another one, and then another symbol. And this is intimidating. Okay, very good. And we want to be bad people. So we're probably going to go to hell with the dark runes. So, first things first. And we need 4 XP just to get plus 1. So, we will attempt to go to the potion cellar and we're going to... Buy strong potions. I don't know why that's a con save, but whatever. So we get three. We have no symbols because we don't start. This is the first time I think we have not started with a symbol. 
We're going to gain an XP to gain a dark room. And this should be fine. Need a four. We get this thing, which does reveal this. It has plus two unless the hero discards. Um, well. We also get uh, to draw ores. Plays before a challenge. Great. All right. So if that goes up, if we don't discord, it goes up to five. No. It goes up to six. We're at three. Can I do this? Even though. I can't, it doesn't even matter anyway. So yeah, this is just a fail. I think this is our first failure too, so you gain a health for that. We gain an XP for that. And we reset the runes, and we go down to corruption. Wonderful. Well, let's try the other one and pursue a criminal. Uh, same thing, what's the worst that could happen, right? Okay, plus one, but we get, so it's a five, we're currently at two, one, two, three, we can do it if we do expertise and meta magic, it's probably worth, the hero's going to gain another health, we're just going to do it, plus one, plus two, plus three, you gain that because you played a hero card, but we have defeated that thing. So we at least have an icon. Hiya, this is looking bad already. More symbols we don't need, perfect. There are zero symbols we need. Absolutely none. We can become educated and just gain an XP. I guess that's what we're going to do. Perceptive, again, no symbols we need. We need to explore so we can get actually good symbols. Hey, that's something. We will get tough. And we have that symbol, right? Yes. So we gain an XP. And we go into Act 2. Which is not good. We get Freedom Fighter, which is not very good. No Encampment, symbols we don't need. Drow Temple, one symbol we need. And Disable the Trap, that's very good. Wait, we did a plus one. So it would have lost uh, a health. Okay, we can do, we can maybe do sneak past this entry. It gives us, well, it gives us a card we don't really want, but, or disable the trap. Disable the trap's one higher, though. Okay, we are going to go to the drought temple and sneak past this entry. Three and one. We are going to spend an XP to gain a dark room. And come on, four. We got four, but again, we get the card symbol plus one. So we, it gets plus one. This is neither. So again, we failed because of that symbol. So that gets discarded. You gain a health. We gain an XP. And our next card is Recover Stolen Goods, which is also a good one. Okay, we're going to do the major trials. That and one. We should be able to do this. Wait, we're also going to do a dark rune. Didn't even need it. One, two, three, four. We have recovered stolen goods. 
Ah, yeah, this is tough. Charlatan, that's just worthless. This is very good. Do we have more? We don't have more dark paths. Of course, there are no dark paths on the board. Disable the trap is very, very nice, though. It gives us an ability for the thing. And it gives us 2 XP with the cultists. Because it has the scroll. And that'll get us plus 1, maybe. Hiya. That. Plus 1. We can't use that. Are we critically hit? I don't think so. Intense effort would be nice. I guess we're going to go for it. Use a dark room because we need this. Five. Didn't even need it again. We get that. We gain two XP from that. And flip over. Find the lost mine. We can... Forgot to mine, deliver tre Del for treasure five. It gives us cord. It gives us an icon. It gives us a plus one, which will block down the health a bit. Let's do it. Okay. So if we succeed, we get our third dexterity rune, which is nice. Um. Let's. I don't think we're gonna dark room for once. And we didn't need it. So we get this. You lose the health because we did a plus one side. We get a hero cord and an anti hero cord. I'm gonna put. Can I even play it? No, I can't. I'm too dark. Okay, so I can't even play that. Okay. Flip that over for Treasure Hunter. That's very good. We're probably just going to take that next turn. But first, we must face the Master of the Dungeon. We don't get the plus two because we don't have more. So we need a six. With that. Two of these. And three of these. I really need some good stuff here. I get I have explorers packs, so I can get a plus two. And I have double intense effort. Yeah, it should be fine. Hopefully. Yeah. And of course he draws something. They they may gain corruption to draw a cor I don't want to gain anymore. So we're we're fine for that finally. I get an anti hero card. Okay, so we gain an XP from that. We have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We're over by three, so we take three health. One, two, three. We gain an XP cord, a dark hero cord. Okay, it's finally looking a little bit up. Act threes. We have. Gates of the Abyss. We can return from death. Uh, Planar Crossroads. The, the scroll is very nice. Shadow Dancer. Very nice. And Doomsday Weapon. Okay. And the adversary becomes the Tormentor. Plus one health when a hero plays a hero card. The thing, you must discard a hero card or get minus one to the attempt. And when a hero adds a plus one to their path, gain a story. Okay. Fine, so we're going to play Stolen Treasure. Take one from the adversary. Boom. We're going to put... I think we're going to put four on our class. So now we have plus one to the con stucks stuff. Uh, we are going to do Treasure Hunter. That is the fourth icon for deck, which is good for the chosen one. We gain another anti-hero card. And 
that when you play this, you may take one from another player or the adversary. We're going to take it from the adversary, which we can put immediately. Do I want to do it immediately, or do I want to save it for critical hit? Critical hit is two, so we're going to save it for critical hit. For each... Oh, we got rage. Okay, it is no longer a hard. I would still like a fourth con save, which is right here. I think we're fine for this. It is a little hard, but we have good cards in our hand that we don't really need a whole lot of. And this gives us plus two experience, which is always nice. Okay, so we need seven. What's the... The max is seven. But I have enough of this. I think we're good. And I have plus one for my class. So we're just going to go. Of course we get the cord. Ignore the hero's class power until end of turn, of course. Um... Double maximum effort. So this is now four to seven. I need three more. I need to spend both Explorers Pack and Raids to do this. We're going to do it. We succeed. Yay. We get a scroll, so we gain two XP. We're going to save all that XP for critical hit. <laughs> hey, look, it's the Baldur's Gate 3 story. And if we get a plus one, we can just remove it to zero to just be extra safe. Um, there's no plus I really want or care for. I could get Shadow Dancer. That's another anti-hero card. Oh wait, it did the thing. I did not have to discard because I still had I was one over with the rage and the explorers back. Okay, so that's fine. And I think we're just gonna take Shadow Dancer. Yeah, we're just gonna take Shadow Dancer and give us another anti hero card. For each, okay, yep, that's that should just be game over. We are going against eight. We have finally maxed out. It was very close. So, we're going to use this to just get plus four. And then we're going to have another one, two, three, four, five. Another plus five. Okay. Should be simple. We're going to discard this for that. Because I don't care. Unless they have threes in their spell, they gain an average, a health. That's fine. We get. Gain one XP for each black in the story, which is currently one. But we'll play it anyway. And we get 2 XP from that. These are blank sides. So that's 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. With the thing and thing, it's, he's just dead. Oh, that was a nail biter. That was the close. What is the final chapter? We had God. We had Cthulhu. Tiamat. And now the Dungeon Master. What could the last one possibly be? Okay, let's let's check our score. Um, that's a zero on that. Three, only four from the story cards. All right, story arc. Do we have any matching? One, two. So that's two points. Oh, and two uh, scales. So that's four points. This is going to be like my lowest scoring game yet. Hero chords and anti-hero chords. That's 10. Okay, that's not bad. 
Corruption was zero, and Destiny is... Oh, I, I, you had the freaking person to the Destiny, too. Plus four if you have an adversary, that's eight. Eight and seven. I wonder if I've been forgetting to do that for other ports. You know, 36, not bad. And that is it for this scenario. I will see you last time when we defeat... I don't know. Or cells? What the hell could it possibly be? It's going to be Twitch chat, isn't it? All right. Future Mima here. I was looking ahead for the next episode and the final chapter, Age of Adventure. In the final battle with the Tormentor, there was a moment when you felt connected to the heroes who came before you. Some of their tales were of triumph, others of tragedy, but bravery was at the heart of every story. Drawn upon their collective strengths, you faced infernal torment and endured. Now the world knows relative peace for the first time in memory. Victories, victorious heroes retire, their story becoming songs and legends. All is quiet, but darkness looms just out of view. One former hero is tempted by whispers of power, and they may just usurp the former warlord as a new dark lord. Other powers grow in the shadows. New threats will rise, and old adversaries may return, but you know that there will always be another hero to face him. Congratulations! You have overcome campaign mode. This is not even something. This just gives you another class, uh, the retired hero. Uh, a final chapter, the dark usurper. And a whole bunch of different adversaries if you want to play them, which I will not for the channel. We have the crime lord who turned into the warlord. A dark rider who turned into a tyrant. The mad cultist who turned into the high priest. The Great Wolf, who turns into the Sorceress. And the Demon Thrall, who turns into the Demon. That is it for Cult Adventure Epic Origins. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.